It's Tuesday, January 12th. We're starting off today with some front squatting, percentage work, pretty black and white. Don't stray from the percentages. You guys know the drill. Rest two to three minutes between sets. The last four sets do get pretty pretty challenging. You're getting 12 total reps and an 85% of your, of, your, uh, of your one rep max front squat. So it's a pretty heavy front squat day. Leads us into our main conditioning, which uh, starts off with half mile run, 40 slash 32 calories on a bike, and then 10 all the way down to one of kettlebell swings at 53, 35, and box jump overs. Then you're gonna rest five minutes, 400 meter run, half the calories as that first that first uh, interval through, and then 10 all the way down to one of Hain power cleans at 95, 65, and 20 dubs after each round. The goal of today's workout is to just move fast, um, come out hot on the run, hold an aggressive pace on the on the bike, your kettlebell swing box jump over um, portion should be extremely fast. I want you guys to kind of realize that kettlebell swings is a movement that's cyclical by nature, meaning there's a work to rest ratio that's close to one to one, not quite one to one, but close to one to one. So you guys can really dig dig yourselves into a hole on the kettlebell swings. Very comparable, like very comparable to like a like a single arm dumbbell snatch or an alternating dumbbell snatch, like yesterday. You, your heart rate can be really high, and you can still continue to move. And the goal is just to kind of see that with some lighter movements, because of the cycling rate you can kind of dig yourself into a hole and still be able to continue to move. On the hang power cleans, lightweight, similar to what we talked to last week with last Tuesday's 14 minute AMRAP where we did hang power clean and push jerk. And the goal was to not touch the shoulders on the way down and oscillate the bar off the shoulders. Obviously we're not going overhead. Obviously not, we're not going overhead in, uh, with these hang power cleans today, but it should still be that same oscillating the bar off the shoulders quick to the front rack and then right back down. The majority of us should be able to just like do a banging muscle clean, we'll call it, on a banging hang muscle clean at this weight and that shouldn't be a problem. Um, last thing we got today are three sets of ski calories, deadlifts, and strict handstand push-ups. Every single one of those sets has a strict, no pun intended, five-minute time cap. Even if you're getting time capped or getting close to time capped, I want you to keep with the strict handstand push-ups if you're getting more than eight. If you're getting less than eight strict handstand push-ups each round, change the handstand push-ups to kipping handstand push-ups. Make a note in um, either the, either in in that in wad up in your results or in true coach in your times, and then we'll kind of move forward from there. Um, pretty painful little sets here. The goal isn't necessarily any type of specific energy system um, manipulation. The goal is local muscle endurance and local muscle fatigue. Be quick about your transitions. Have your skier set up next to your deadlift bar, set up next to the wall. Let's try not to be walking back and forth long distances. Uh, really try to keep everything on top of one another and just kind of, you know, as much as it sucks to say it, get painful with this. Two minutes rest between rounds. Have fun. I will see you tomorrow.